Hi guys, good morning and happy Saturday. It is about 10 minutes after nine and I am gonna show you my grocery haul. And yes, I am back to my low carbs. <sighs> so here what I got me, some steak, pork chops, bacon and chicken legs. This is some riced cauliflower and risotto medley. The carbs on it was very low, so that's why I decided to get it. This is some shredded chicken, rotisserie chicken. I did get some broccoli. I got some Brussels sprouts, red and green pepper, a cucumber, two avocados, and cauliflower. I did get my half-calf coffee, which I will put cinnamon in so I can drink it black. Um, and so it'll have a little bit of a flavor. Um, that's two fifty to buy that. The other one I was buying was four dollars. That was already like French vanilla flavored, but you know what? Save a little money. Okay, and I've got me some block cheese, mozzarella, sharp cheddar, sour cream, heavy whip, um, one brick of uh, cream cheese, which I'm not sure what I use. I did buy me some Swerve because it was on sale today. Um, it was, it's normally $7.25 a bag and it said 75 cents off. So I got me two of them back here. I did get some almond flour just in case I want to make a little bit of goodies. I got me some thick pepperoni slices that of course will go with my cheese slices and probably olives. So this is my haul for today. You guys, I hope you all are having a magnificent day. I'm sorry it's been a few days since I have uploaded, but I've been having problems with my computer, but I think I've got it squared away. So, all right, guys, I will be back, and we will have a little chit-chat. See you soon. All right, guys, so you saw my haul and everything that I got. Looks like I'm doing this video naked, doesn't it? I'm not. I got a tube this on. Any heat. Um, so, I am going to be putting of course some of those meats i divided them out so because next week i'm not going to buy any meats i'm going to use those so i'm going to cook half of them half of the meat this week and use the other half of the same things next week um so i've got some chicken legs i've got some pork chops and i've got some steak and what i'm going to do with the chicken legs and the pork chops i'm going to put in together and i'm going to marinate those for a little while before they go on the grill and i am going to marinate with fresh garlic lemon and olive oil salt and pepper but I'm going to let you go ahead and watch, okay? And I have the chicken in here, and I have some pork chops, the pork chops here. And I'm going to put them all in there together once I get everything together here. Get these out of the little things here. I'm just going to use two because when I, when I put it in there, the garlic gets pretty strong. So... I am going to put them, I hope my press is in here, yeah, I'm going to put it through my press. I'm going to put that in there. And I am going to take some olive oil and I'm just going to sprig that over like this. going to use salt and go ahead and season because I'm going to mix all this up here in a little bit but season good because this is all the seasonings you're going to use right before you put on the grill so just make sure everything's salted up and some pepper and I'm going to let this marinate at least 30 to 45 minutes so now I'm going to cut this lemon And you don't, when you put lemon, fresh lemon juice in stuff to marinate, you guys, just so you know, in case you don't, um, you don't want to let it marinate too long because the acid in the lemon juice will actually start cooking your meat. So we don't want that. So like if you're using citrus or anything like that, you're not going to want to do it, uh, marinate it overnight because it will already cook your meat. That's why I like in, I'm not sure if any of you have ever had ceviche. Uh, ceviche, you know, you, it's put in with, you know, the uh, raw shrimp or, or um, and I think they might, some people put scallops in there, I don't know, but I know it's shrimp is what I use, but that's why <clears throat> you put it in raw and you put in the, um, 
um, the lemon and or lime juice in the ceviche and that's what actually cooks your shrimp because you put it in raw and then it's you know it comes out and it'll be cooked because of the citrus now I'm gonna turn this upside down to get all that juice on that pork chop too Turn them over. Let's do it one more time. Now I've got everything in here. The chicken and the pork chops all in there and all of that goodness. So let me get my hands washed real quick, you guys. Since I did touch raw chicken. And I'm gonna leave it right here in this container. And I'm actually, because I'm probably gonna put it on the grill here shortly, so I'm actually just gonna leave it out so the, the, the meat and stuff gets to room temperature. That way, when I put it on the grill, it's all gonna be room temperature, which is good. But anyway, that is the marinara, uh, the marination that I have going on here. So I'm going to let that marinate probably, I'm probably going to let it marinate um, about 30, 45 minutes. Anyway, but that's what I use to marinate it with. Uh, my steak that I have that's going to go on the grill as well. I am just going to put some salt, pepper, and garlic powder on that, and then that's going to be ready to go. Um, I may even put some blackened seasoning on this, on this steak to go out there. But this is what I got going on, guys. So as soon as we're ready to put it on the grill, we'll see you then. Pork chops and chicken legs. Yum-o. Perfect for keto.